In a world where survival of the fittest is the core of existence, each creature has to be equipped with every means to survive. All animals, both predators and prey, have their own unique characteristics which they utilize to protect themselves and to attack when they are provoked. These defense mechanisms make some animals more dangerous than their other relative species. The ability to adapt and defend is very necessary for survival. Animals use their instincts to eat and survive in the wild. Prey should always be on guard for predators lurking in the dark and ready to attack any moment to feast on them. Predators on the other hand mostly depend on their size, speed, and ferocity to maintain their place in the food chain. Welcome to World Top Record Channel. Today, we're gonna introduce you top 10 heaviest and largest crocodiles in the world. Before we begin, if you like the video, please be sure to subscribe to our channel, and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. Crocodiles are one of the largest marine reptiles that live in the water and can be found across the regions of Africa, America, Asia, and Australia. There are many different species of crocodiles in the world and some of the widely known ones are the saltwater crocodiles found along parts of Australia and Southeast Asia, Nile crocodile which is commonly found in parts of Africa. Freshwater crocodile can be seen in Northern Australia and the American crocodile along the Caribbean islands and South Florida. Some of the largest crocodiles that have been ever found are the saltwater crocodiles, but they have not been captured owing to their giant and massive body size. Crocodiles can be extremely dangerous and pose a huge threat to human lives. Crocodiles, subfamily Crocodilini, or true crocodiles are large aquatic reptiles that live throughout the tropics in Africa, Asia, the Americas and Australia. Although they are big, they suffer from a prevalence of big fish stories and over-exaggeration. In the internet age, photographs of crocodiles manipulated digitally to make the animal look much larger than it is. So, how big the largest crocodiles are actually? There are almost 14 extant species of crocodiles and here we look at the largest crocodiles ever caught and gather some interesting information about them. So here are the top 10 largest crocodiles ever recorded. Number 10. Maximo, 15 feet 3 inches long. Maximo is a fascinating saltwater crocodile from Australia has been kept at St. Augustine Alligators Farm. It has some unique features with a 4 inch long tooth that shoots upwards from its lower jaw. His predecessor Gomeg was overweight and weighed almost more than a ton when he died. Maximo is well looked after at the farm and trainers put him through an exercise routine to keep him fit and healthy. Number 9, Maniac, 16 feet long. This saltwater crocodile was found in Australia and lives in the Reptile Gardens, Rapid City in South Dakota, USA. Maniac weighs around 1,250 pounds and was born in 1970 in captivity in Australia but was then transported to its new home in 2004, when Wonderland Sydney Park had to be closed permanently. Saltwater crocodiles are known to be among the largest of all the living reptiles and their size can go up to 20.7 feet and they can weigh up to 1,360 kilograms. Although they primarily reside in salt water, they can also be found in mangrove swamps, lagoons and along some river stretches. Number 8. Pointe Noir Crocodile, 17.71 feet long. This unnamed monster crocodile has been at the center of a number of hoaxes. The fact is, this aggressive Nile specimen was killed in a safety operation near Pointe Noir, Republic of Congo. Estimated size, 5.4 meters, 17 feet 8 inches. Number 7. Gomek. 17.8 feet long. Gomek was a large saltwater crocodile captured by George Craig in Papua New Guinea. He was purchased by Terry and Arthur Jones in 1985 and was kept in Ocala, Florida for five years before being sold to the St. Augustine Alligator Farm Zoological Park in Florida. For eight years he wowed spectators with both his amazing nutrient tossing abilities and his even more amazing tolerance of people. Feeders of the large croc were allowed to go into the enclosure and get as close as one meter from the large animal without any fear of attack. While feeders still use long tongs to feed Gomek, he was generally considered to be a tame crocodile and was the favorite of the alligator farm and people around the nation. After many years, Gomek died of heart disease on March 6, 1997. By then, he was a very old crocodile, and one of the largest and tamest captive crocodile in existence. When he died, he was 5.42 meters, 17.8 feet, long, and weighed 860 kilograms, 1896 pounds, as confirmed by St. Augustine Alligator Farm, and probably between 60 and 80 years old. There is a tribute to Gomek near his enclosure, which now houses his successor Maximo and his mate Sydney. Number 6, Cassius, 17 feet 11 inches long. 
Gomek was a large saltwater crocodile captured by George Craig in Papua New Guinea. He was purchased by Terry and Arthur Jones in 1985 and was kept in Ocala, Florida for five years before being sold to the St. Augustine Alligator Farm Zoological Park in Florida. For eight years he wowed spectators with both his amazing nutrient tossing abilities and his even more amazing tolerance of people. Feeders of the large croc were allowed to go into the enclosure and get as close as one meter from the large animal without any fear of attack. While feeders still use long tongs to feed Gomek, he was generally considered to be a tame crocodile and was the favorite of the alligator farm and people around the nation. This Australian saltwater giant has been claimed as the largest crocodile held in captivity and was recognized by the Guinness World Records as the world's largest crocodile in captivity in 2011. He is missing his front left leg and tip of his tail due to vicious fights. He lives in Marineland Melanesia on Green Island in Australia. He was captured in 1987 in the Finnis River in the Northern Territory after attacking boats and causing a nuisance. Cassius is 5.48 meters, 17 feet 11 in, long, and is believed to be around 110 years old. It is named after Cassius Clay, the birth name of boxer Muhammad Ali, January 17, 1942, June 3, 2016. Number 5, Brutus, 18 feet 4 inches long. The most unique characteristic of this saltwater crocodile is that it has only three limbs and it was known to wander around the Adelaide River in Australia which is located in the Northern Territory. It is still quite a mystery as to how the crocodile lost one of its limbs, but according to some sources, it was due to a bull shark attack. The estimated size of Brutus is about 18 feet and 4 inches and it is known to weigh about 1 ton. Number 4, Gustav, 19.68 feet long. Probably not the biggest ever recorded, but this large man-eater crocodile named Gustav is definitely the most feared beast ever. It is a large male Nile crocodile from Burundi, and is rumored to have killed as many as 300 humans from the banks of the Ruzizi River and the northern shores of Lake Tanganyika. Note, I am really skeptical about this claim. Gustav was named by Patrice Fay, a herpetologist who has been studying and investigating him since the late 1990s. Much of what is known about Gustav stems from the film Capturing the Killer Croc, which aired in 2004 on PBS. The film documents a capture attempt and study on Gustav. Since Gustav has not been captured, his exact length and weight are unknown. In 2002 it was stated that he could be easily more than 20 feet, 6 meters, long, and weigh more than a ton. Some estimates have put Gustav at 7.5 meters, 25 feet, or more in length. When first observed, he was estimated to be around 100 years old in order to achieve such outstanding size, however, Gustav revealed a complete set of teeth when he opened his mouth. Since a 100-year-old crocodile should be nearly toothless, according to the documentary, he was estimated to be probably no older than 60, and likely, still growing. Gustav is also known for the three bullet scars on his body. His right shoulder blade was also found to be deeply wounded. Circumstances surrounding the four scars are unknown. Scientists and herpetologists who have studied Gustav claim that his uncommon size and weight impedes his ability to hunt the species' usual, agile prey such as fish, antelope, and zebra, forcing him to attack larger animals such as hippopotamus, large wildebeest and, to some extent, humans. According to a popular local warning, he is said to hunt and leave his victims' corpses uneaten. Also, it was stated in his documentary film that since crocodiles can go several months without eating, one the size of Gustav could afford to select his prey carefully. The last reported sighting of Gustav was in February 2008 by National Geographic sources. According to the Wikipedia, in June 2015, one resident claimed that Gustav dragged an adult bull buffalo on a riverbank. That claim is under citation needed status. Number 3, Dominator, 20 feet long. Dominator also belongs to the same territory of Adelaide River in Australia as Brutus the saltwater crocodile. It has never been officially measured but it is estimated to be about 20 feet long and weighs around 1 ton. He shares the same territory with another saltwater giant Brutus, Adelaide River, Northern Territory, Australia. Number 2, Lolong, 20 feet 3 inches long. Measured at 20 feet 3 in. 6.17 meters, and weighed 2,370 pounds, 1,075 kilograms, Lolong was the largest crocodile in captivity. He was also the biggest crocodile ever measured from snout to tail. Lolong was an Indo-Pacific or saltwater crocodile, Crocodilus porosus. Australian crocodile expert Dr. Adam Britton notes one sedated and measured Lolong in his enclosure in November 2011, and confirmed him as the world's longest crocodile ever caught and placed in captivity. 
He was caught in a Bunawan Creek in the province of Agusan del Sur in the Philippines on September 13, 2011. He was captured with the joint cooperation of the local government unit, residents, and crocodile hunters of Palawan. The giant crocodile was hunted over a period of three weeks, once it was found, it took around 100 people to bring him onto land. He became aggressive at several points during the capture and twice broke restraining ropes before eventually being properly secured. He was estimated to be at least 50 years old. Lolong was suspected of eating a fisherman who went missing in the town of Bunawan, and also of consuming a 12-year-old girl whose head was discovered two years earlier. He was also the primary suspect in the disappearance of seahorses in the area. In the examination of the stomach contents after his capture, remnants of water buffaloes reported missing before Lolong's capture were found, but no human remains. The crocodile was named after Ernesto Lolong Golar and Cañete, one of the veteran crocodile hunters from the Palawan Crocodile and Wildlife Reservation Center, who led the hunt. After weeks of stalking, the hunt for Lolong took its toll on Cañete's health. He died of a heart attack several days before the crocodile was captured. Despite his initial aggressiveness, Lo Long was remarkably gentle in his enclosure. Dr. Britton writes this shouldn't come as a surprise to anyone familiar with the effects of capturing large crocodiles from the wild. It's a phenomenon called capture myopathy, the shock of being caught, poked and prodded, and introduced to a completely new and alien environment is a stressful experience, particularly for an animal as large as Lo Long who has been master of his domain for decades. It might seem unusual to think of crocodiles as being susceptible to stress, but they're just like any other vertebrate in that respect and something that anyone who maintains captive crocodiles should be aware of. The non-governmental organization activist Animal Kingdom Foundation Incorporated, with the cooperation of people for the ethical treatment of animals, had urged the local government of Bunawan to return Lo Long to the creek of Barangay Nueva era, where the giant reptile was captured. But, in an ongoing debate, Bunawan Mayor Edwin Cox Alord and residents of the Barangay opposed the crocodile's release, arguing that he would threaten individuals living in the vicinity of the creek. Long died in captivity just 18 months later he was captured, at around 8 p.m. on February 10, 2013. His necropsy revealed that he died from congestive heart failure compounded by fungal pneumonia, lipidosis of the liver and kidney failure. According to Dr. Adam Britton, Lo Long's enclosure might not look pretty, but, in fact, crocodiles in the wild call muddy holes his home, they just look for any kind of shelter and the basic necessities for survival. So, Lo Long was provided with those basic necessities. Crocodiles do not eat if they're too stressed, but in Lo Long's case, he was eating and seemed to settle down into his new surroundings and behaving normally. Britton also says anyone who actually met his caretakers would have realized he was well loved. You might say they adored him. He adds, there were also financial incentives to keep Lo Long alive, he was popular, brought much money into the community, and generated a lot of national and international attention. So, despite his conditions look terrible to an unfamiliar eye, he was well cared. Britton concludes, it would have been ideal to leave Lo Long in the wild, but does such specious thinking have a place in our overcrowded world? A conflict between humans and wildlife can have major repercussions for conservation, not to mention human safety, which any level-headed human regards as being of prime importance. Yet at the same time, we can't simply remove all wild animals simply because it makes us feel better, or safer. There has to be a compromise, and unfortunately for Lo Long he was that compromise at that particular time and place. Perhaps his death can be a lesson for us. I recommend you to read Dr. Britton's great article titled What Really Killed Lo Long? On his blog. Lo Long was officially certified by the Guinness Book of World Records as the world's biggest crocodile in captivity at 20.25 feet, 6.17 meters, number 1, Kalia, 23 feet long. A massive saltwater crocodile known as Kalia that weighs around 2,000 kilograms has been officially recorded to be the largest of all the crocodiles in the world by the Guinness Book of World Records. They has accepted a claim that a 23 feet this crocodile resides in Bitar Kanika Park along the state of Orissa in India. However, due to the challenge of being able to capture such a giant crocodile, its exact measurement is not known. So which one in this list impress you the most let us know in the comment below. Also check out one of these other videos and subscribe to World Top Record Channel. Thank you for watching, and see you in the next videos.